Welcome back. City living just isn't for everybody, but finding a way of being able to afford the country estate many of us dream about takes the shine right off the idea. However, if you can combine the dream with a little income, the dream can become just that little bit more realistic. And there are properties around from that can do just that, like the Peyton Estate uh, agents one we've got here in Victoria. This has five bedroom lifestyle estate in Merrick's North, a lush estate on 161 acres, which also holds the estates Pinot and Chardonnay grapes, which we all love. Then Collier's, which we were talking about just earlier, Collier's Lifestyle in the same vein, has a prestige property in Exeter, New South Wales. Four beautiful bedrooms, 103 acres, and its own winery called Banjo's Run. But there are ways to make a living on smaller lots and with much less hard work. We thought our rural correspondent, do you like that one? <laughs> the lovely David Nolan of Webster Nolan, the rural property experts, might be the go-to guy to find out what we should consider when dreaming of a tree change. David, do you like being the rural correspondent? I do. I like it. It's pretty groovy. We might have to get your hat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And some R.M. Williams. <laughs> Maybe we could be sponsored. Oh, I like the idea of that. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. But it's amazing, isn't it? Because it can cover so many things. It can. Um, yeah, I mean, oyster farms you were just talking yeah. about. Before, yeah, yesterday. Chucking oysters, fresh oysters out of the ocean. To your traditional chicken and cow. I wouldn't be making a profit on the oyster thing, though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'd be eating them all. Yeah. I know. So. You're really horny yeah. and poor. <laughs> <laughs> The Chardonnay being shipping as well. Yeah. That's it. No, but the options are endless. Do you find a lot of people come looking for just this, that they want that country lifestyle, but, you know, it, it is a way, uh, you know, perhaps a, a farm stay is a way of, of making this a reality? What we'll talk about today, we'll explain and show all that. And this applies to every state of Australia. Yeah. You know, the, the variations of um, whether you want to be close to a city for your, for, for your clientele, or whether you want to be further out, and what components you need um, to entertain the, you know, the, your guests coming, because, and, and a lot of them do rely on repeat business, um, yeah. the, the good ones. Um, but so you can be on the coast where you've got all sorts of different um, activities, or you can be inland where you've got You're a lying under a grapevine, yeah, or riding a horse, <laughs> or doing other yeah. activities. So it all, um, it all balances itself out. But no, there there are people out there who want to do it, and it's also helping them uh, being able to afford to mm. to get in at a, at, a, at a certain entry point. Yeah, Royale yeah. is the first one you wanted to have a look at because mm. that's an up and going concern. Yes, and quite a beautiful property. This one is on the market for what two point nine five. Yes, but it has got. Oh, really lovely. lovely attributes, as, mm. you, as you can see here in these pictures. So there are three dwellings, including the... Is that the, om, is that the Om Barn, that one? Yes, that's the Om Barn. That's the rom romantic one where you get taken away and oh, serenaded, wow. yes. Look, and this is the main house. So yeah. this property has been smart by, I guess, dividing into three, uh, three particular places to rent within the one... Most we've found have been taking the whole package for the weekend. Yeah. Rather than individually, because... Having a wedding there or something like that. Oh, just a group of friends. Yeah. So let's go to the country for the weekend. Yeah. Sleeps 12 to 16. Yeah. Uh, whereas, you know, if you go away, you don't want to be. You might want to be sharing it with somebody you don't even know. Yes. Because you might hit the yeah. guests from hell. So <laughs> <laughs> you, most, you met most, my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> most take it, take the whole thing. Yeah. And um, you know, it, it's got room for children and it's got room for parents very and yeah. Very chilled out. This is yes. this is very oh, chill. Isn't it? So what would it set you back if you wanted to? What's your income? I guess, if you were to do this for a weekend, if you were going to rent it out on the weekends? Well, this returns, um, um, well, it, it uh, grosses a, with the livestock as well, about 130 to 150,000 a year. Wow. So they'll net, I mean, and they, they, the people who own this are both um, high end professionals, so they're not, they're not down there running it. So everything that's, that's being run there is being paid for, you know, all staff and everything else. So yeah. they're probably netting, you know, 35 000 to 50,000. Okay. But if they were hands on, that figure would go up because mm. they wouldn't be paying people to do the work. So, yeah. yeah. The love Shack, I see, is 600 for the weekend. Oh, yes. Oh, Just take the love Shack. <laughs> so, how, I mean, what's the key, though, to running a successful farm stay? Is it, you know, making sure that. Uh, your name's out there. Marketing is that sort of key. I think that I think, but I think when they arrive, they get what they look at, what they're expecting. Yeah. That's really big. Um, I've stayed in one once, and I said I'd never go back. But that's just <laughs> oh. me. But I oh, know because the person wouldn't leave us alone. Like it was just oh, too much. Yeah, too clingy. Yeah. 
And some people just aren't made for it. For it, no. You're just not in hospitality gig. No, no, no. You, I mean, it was great to arrive, and he said hello. That was great. And here's the keys, and then suddenly we're trapped in the in the foyer sort of thing. Yeah. And back for a wine. I'll, be, I'll see you at five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so I think the great thing is cleanliness is big. Okay. So people turn up and they get what they see. You know, and it, if it looks like it does when, when they arrive, the photos match the reality. Yeah. Um, I think also things to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, I mean... But that doesn't mean you've got to go and invest in having a speedboat. Or no. You just need a few fishing rods. And no, everything. not even... Just not even that, but just... I mean, like, if you go down there, you're in the Southern Highlands. I mean, that, that they run a few cattle and they've got a beautiful swimming hole. I mean, you might have a horse, but then you've got an HNS problem, oh. so you might want to oh, do that. Of course, yeah. But what I'm saying is they can actually say, well, look, here's a heap of um, activities going on in the Southern Highlands. There's oh, yeah. restaurants, art oh, galleries, oh, yeah. gardens... Yeah. Yep. Just make those things Field available, day. so oh, you, yeah. you're not just, you know... Well, yeah. Gully yeah. Falls is another one in Dungog, mm. another one of your properties, which I think there's a part of this that I, I think this is what I just adore. Look at this lovely home. Mm. I, well, I, this is this is on the market for $650,000. Wow! It's yeah. a different sort of space. So would this be for a star, someone says starting out, I wanting guess. just to give yeah. it a go? Would you, it would be, but say? that actually returns sort of similar money to the other one. But, no. But, really? but, but because a different of this type bathroom. of the I bathroom's a cracker. Oh, I, love you would, this. I promise you, you wouldn't get out of the bath. Oh wow. well, it depends if you are alone. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them though. I know. I love it. You'll see it. It's a twin bath. I just oh, love this it. Is bath, this, this is the bath. This is the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, Have a look. My goodness. And this is a sort of weird thing that makes people come back. Look at that. Oh. And that, that and the waterfall's just out the window. Oh, so you can wow. lie back there yeah. with your cup, with your best pal. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe even your kids. Yeah. I mean, who, what's yeah. fun? Is and that's that? the sort of thing that people go back yeah. home it and go. Stays in your mind. Leave this place. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you need. Isn't a bit of a gimmick. Absolutely. And that's. Then that's got um, management. The people who own that live overseas. Oh, yeah. Right. Expats. So, so they, it's just one property, so you would yes. just rent that house? Yes, you do, but that's yeah. got a lot more... That's got about nearly 200 acres, so it's plenty to walk oh, around. Yeah. But that's a different thing to Royala. Yes. This is not quite as luxurious. No. But, um, and you're probably not in an area... This is more sort of, I think, escapism. Yeah. And bushwalking and finding a bit of chilling out time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This wow. is really relaxing. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Time, especially with his bath. I think the bathtubs, what a fab idea. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's just, it is just special when you're there. It's, Absolutely. Yeah. So we've got one last one to look at as well. Yeah. This is in the rumour, this one. Yeah, now, um, this is not a, uh, this is a beautiful part of the world. Yeah. Oh, this is this is nearly Australia's best kept secret at the moment. The rumor. This is where the smart yeah. money's going. Mm. Yes. You want to get in early? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Oh, there's uh -huh. been some. I won't mention who they are, but there's been some big money going there just recently. Oh, I want to know mm. now. Mm. <laughs> Sorry for my. Ignorance. South coast. Okay. Four it's hours. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's hot from Sydney. No, this this would be this is this is a private property, but would be magnificent to put into a um, farm stay, but it would have to be up market. Yeah. And it would nearly be weekly bookings because it's nearly too far for a weekend travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But good point. Is there an airport yeah. nearby? Yes, there? um, there's two. There's Bait, um, there's uh, Marimula. Oh, yes. And Maruya, and they're about 40 minutes equidistance. Okay, fantastic. So and that's daily flights from Melbourne and oh. Sydney. Oh. So Sorry. if you were in in the mindset, you would say buy this for three three six five. Yeah. With a, if you wanted to make some money, and then go look. I'm going to drop another two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand, yeah. and then rent it out. But you've well, got, for you've a got top in price, it's two grand a, a weekend or four grand a week or something. Yeah, you'd get four grand a week for each house, just about at the peak. Oh, wow! But it's but down there is so special. I mean, the fishing and the and, and the dolphins the, and the dolphins and the whales, and you've got Montague Island. There's just look at that. I mean, you'd, you'd never get bored. You've got the golf course there, which with the famous hole where they they did the Aragard ad when they hit over the sea. Oh, oh. is that where they Yeah. You'd remember that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. I do. I do. Don't do me, I don't mean to aid you, but that <laughs> was a while well, ago. That <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so in terms of that then, so that's on the market at the moment, is it? That one yes. in the room up. Wow, okay, yeah. fantastic. 2.65. And that's, and that's what's that going for at the moment? So that's 250 for the week, or 1400 for the week, as it is. Yeah. It can go up. Well, peak season, the main home there would be, um, would rent for two and a half to 4000 for the week. And the other one would be two thousand. And what about not in peak? Is that um, you'd, you'd probably come back? That... The four would come back to probably twenty five hundred or two thousand. Okay. And the and the other house would come back from two to say fifteen hundred or a thousand. Yeah. Just before yeah. we go, then wrap it all together for us. Give us your, your top tips then if you're, you're thinking about this buying a, a property that perhaps you want to earn income from. Well, firstly, I think what what Prue said. Make sure that you're the right person to do it. 
don't go and buy it and then think I'm going to become a farm stay person if you're not the person for it because it'll end up in tears. <laughs> and then you'll ring me and I'll think this is, <laughs> how do I get this job? <laughs> but uh, the second thing is, and this is really important, if you buy something you might want to sell it one day. Yeah. Leave the money in the till. Okay. What does that mean? Don't think... take the cash. Oh. Because what happens is when you go to sell it, People go, oh, wink, wink, nod, nod, David, this, this will return this. But I'll say, well, where are the, the, where the books? And yeah. they go, oh, I don't know, and they're sort of winking. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and the next person <laughs> goes to their accountant and their bank manager and they don't accept winks and nods. They, no. It's the best advice you I can give any... You've got to have the yeah. books. Yeah. So you can't... If you take the cash, you won't get the reward at the end of the day. If you keep it all in there, then you've got a business to sell. And best spots to buy, you think, at the moment? What, what Access is really good because okay. you want people to be able to get there comfortably yep. and, and quite conveniently. Right. Um, unless you went to a gonga, which is an airport type thing, or a drive for a week. But if you're okay. running one on a weekend basis, I don't think you'd want to be more than two hours away from okay. where you think your clientele is going to come from. And that applies to all over Australia. Mm -hmm. um, I think they've just, it, if you can find something that's got a bit of picture, you know, picturesque and no, country right. feel, yeah. yeah. But I, even, even that Royale has got stunning views oh, yeah. across to the coast and, you know, it's sort of, it's, so it all depends, you know, and Gully Falls is traditionally agriculture, you know, like a rural, really rustic rural. Yeah. So they're all different. Um, so but, gorgeous. you know, I think the most important thing to work out if you're there, if you want to be it, and then think what your clientele will want. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, that's the people that you're trying to service. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. The dream can become a reality. I know. You, you can do it. it. <laughs> it can be done. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Great, Great to, to see you, you both again. Yeah, David hope, and I hope your flu gets better. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I haven't passed it on to you. David